Welcome to uh, Thumper's Comedy Minute, and um, you, you got a plug for this one, or are you just going to jump right into it? All right, let's just say... Uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll jump into it. All right, here we go. Go ahead. You know, growing up, when you're a little kid, you get scared of anything. I mean, like, something, like your cat will meow. You're like, oh, what is that? You know, at nighttime. Mommy, like, there's a monster in my closet. At nighttime. <laughs> so, most parents... Can you turn it down a little? Yeah. Um, most parents... You think come in and they comfort their children. Uh-huh. And they're like, it's not a monster, but because you're good, happy story to make you go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Not my daddy. My Uh-oh. daddy told me scary, scary stories. stories to make me go to sleep. Uh-oh. Well, I remember the story like, mm, like no tomorrow. Six years old, had a bad dream. So I come in, I'm like, daddy, 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 tell me a story, please. And he goes, sit down. Clears his throat. <laughs> right. I like how she imitates the throat clear. <laughs> it's a long, long time. That's my phone. Excuse me. Anyway, cool. continue with your minute of comedy here. Hey, she stole my phone. Really? Um, anyways, I can't do the story with this music. Can you please turn the music off? Why? Do you need, like, scary music? music? Or? No, I need no music because I do sound effects myself. Oh. Alright, well, I'm just used to having the music going on behind. I know, but it's confusing me right now. I'm like, huh? All right, so okay. I saw. I guess this is the first time I'll be using no cir- oh, no uh, circus music. music. Well, we're calling it minute comedy music, but go ahead. It's still circus music. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. So long, <coughs> long time ago. Oh boy. You have your own sound drops for this. Yes. Did it? <laughs> a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far away. Easy, children. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Shut your mouth, or I will duct tape them shut. No. I said nothing. That was all him. <laughs> Do you want to hear the story or not? Yes! Hell yeah! That was a story anti ever. Okay. <laughs> you, might, you might need your blankie for this, Mike. I don't have a blankie. What are you talking about? Okay. Is <clears throat> my Snuggie over there? Because it gets a little scary. Okay. Yeah. Just listen. We might need to get him his teddy bear, too. You might need to shut, shut it down, story! <laughs> is it funny? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. So, Sorry, like I, I said... This is a story my dad told me, and I will pass it out through generations, and now through the web, the World Wide Web, brought to you by Amber's father. <laughs> Anyways, um, Thumper's daddy? Thumper's daddy, yeah. <laughs> Who's your daddy? All right. Who's your daddy? Yeah. Let me tell my story. Go ahead. Tell your story. Go then. Jeez. So a long time ago, I mean, not too long ago, probably about 10 years or so ago, about the time when you were born. Yeah, it was around that time. You were probably the age six. Oh, look at this. You're six now? What a coincidence. So, this is too good. a long time ago, right around the corner, <laughs> there's this woods. And little Billy <laughs> had to walk through these woods, by these woods, to get home from school. But through these woods, there was this house. And it was a scary house. And it was haunted, so they said. <laughs> <laughs> and so they told about a person that would tell you and it would say every time you'd walk by this house you would hear I'm gonna get you I'm oh, gonna get you like this. I remember this <laughs> yeah me too kind of so, keep, so little Billy no one else knows it go ahead. keeps on walking past this house all the time one day he was with his friend Michael. Michael was brave, so we thought Michael gonna die. But my- <laughs> <laughs> so Michael, he was too scared to go into the house. So he was like, "Billy, you go." <laughs> and Billy, and then Michael was like, that high of a voice. Billy, you go. <laughs> Billy was like, "I'll do it for a lollipop." <laughs> Billy was really. So so, I do it for a lollipop. So I can do for a like, <laughs> so, I'm trying to talk. Sorry, go ahead. Story. Sorry, go ahead. My bad. So. He goes, okay. So little Billy walks into the house, opens the door. <laughs> looks around. <laughs> Sounds like a mouse dying. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get you. I'm going 
gonna get you. Little Billy starts freaking out. He's gonna get me? <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. He goes to exit. But me and old Mike was like, holding that lollipop. You want it? I know you want it. <laughs> yeah, apparently Mike's a horrible person. That's so, not me. So, Billy. You sure about that? Billy. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she was interrupting you. Keep, keep going. <laughs> sorry. So, Billy walks and he takes a step. <clears throat> <laughs> Looks around. <laughs> the door slams. Oh, no! Billy starts freaking out. But he wants to get out of there. But he also wants to know what this noise and why the house is going to get him. So all he hears is, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And he follows the noise. And all of a sudden, he sees that it leads to the closet. The closet right by the door on the way out. So Billy has a decision to make. Do I walk out this door and go get my lollipop? Or do I open this door and see what's going to get me? <laughs> Billy, being six-year-old, decides the only way to make this out is go, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. Whoa. If he holler, let the him eeny, go. Meeny, 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 miny. Oh, no. The closet. The closet. <laughs> well, I figured you say, oh, no, it was the closet. <laughs> so he opens the closet. He goes, he twists the knob. Ah, I'm going to get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, why does this eeny meeny miny mo have to do this? Ah, I'm gonna get you. He slowly opens it. And guess what he sees? What? A little boy sitting there picking his boogers. Ah! Ah, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, oh my gosh. That yeah. was a little disturbing. I'm not gonna Oh, that. that was actually that was funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Funny, but y'all have the side of disturbing as well. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I, I think wait, he, he, it wasn't a closet; it was like a bathroom that he was in in the bathroom, or was it was an actual closet? There? It was a closet. Okay, was a closet. I think the the version I heard, the kid was sitting on the toilet going, "I'm gonna get you." Goobers! I don't, I don't know why he was sitting on the Who toilet. Who cares? Though. Anyway, well, that was actually kind of one funny story. Actually, oh yeah, yeah definitely. It was a lot of ad lib, you know. Oh yeah, definitely ad libs. Oh yeah, top of my mind. I've ad libbed a Pop bunch of stories like that. It took like 10 minutes to tell a five-minute story because people come interrupting. <laughs> Mike. Sarah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you shouldn't have said what. Personal bubble here, girl. Personal bubble. your girlfriend. Bubble? Oh, oh. Bubble? 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 Oh, yeah. Bubble? Hey. Bubble. Bubble. Oh, bubble. 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 Stop hitting my butt. <laughs> She's touching your butt. She's touching my butt with her elbow. Sisters before boosters. Get, please get off me. <laughs> Thank you. No, was that so hard? No, it hurt. Beep. Oh. Uh, Hi. Hi. Okay. All right. Well, don't go anywhere because coming up in 10 seconds is um, As the World Burns brought to you by Hollywood. You're listening to Mike and the Crew in the morning. <laughs> If you really want to know what's going on in the world, just take a listen to this. As the world burns. <laughs> And welcome back to Mike and the Crew in the Morning, and it's time for the As the World Burst segment. Normally brought to you by GPK, but again, he's not here, so we're bringing it to you by Hollywood. Take it away, and are you going to do a plug or not? Um, well, eh, no. No, no plug? plug. Alright, well, continue. I was the plug. Brought to you by me. Oh, yeah, good. Anyway. Okay, well, today on the As the World Burns segment, I am going to be talking about boys. Oh, we can talk hours about boys. Well, yeah, we but we gotta hours. keep we gotta keep it to five minutes. So well, four, um, four minutes actually. This is not talking, Mike. So she can go ahead. Four Shut minutes. Up. All right. So <laughs> again, example, exactly. boys. Shut up. Exactly. Good. So you know you know how boys can just sometimes be absolutely obnoxious. Sometimes. Sometimes. No, all the time. I yeah. feel like 
Okay, well, they could just be really me- annoying and really rude and say things that they really shouldn't say. Uh-huh. Preach it. Yeah. So uh, I'm, tr- I'm trying to figure out how, like, you can get them to stop saying things that they really shouldn't say. I feel alone here. Especially <laughs> around your parents. So, um, like, is it? do we have any way of actually, like getting them to stop absolutely just being complete and utter jerks. Girl, like we always say, boys are stupid. Throw rocks at them. That is true. And Y'all are can't mean. live with them. Can't, can't shoot, shoot them. Quirk. Y'all are mean. <laughs> well, boys are just, I guess we'll just be boys, so exactly. um, I guess you can't stop them. You can't them train them either. I no, swear. you can't, really. You, you, I, I mean, right, I you can dress crazy. them up, but you can't take them out. Pretty much. I love boys, but... Hate well, him at the same time. Yeah. I guess I'm alone here, man. Yeah. Go in the closet, then, like. Isn't... No. no. <laughs> they come out of the closet. Shut up. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> sick. Anyway, I think uh, Thumper just insinuated that my boyfriend is gay. No! Oh, yeah. Go in the closet and come out. The game. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I, are we running out of time here? Um, yet. Yeah, yeah, that much time left for the segment. Yeah, like That's two minutes. A, so. Anyway, um, we were talking about boys and how you can't, you can dress them up, but you can't take them out. I mean, you know, so you, know you know how, like, sometimes you, you go to, you go to take your boyfriend out to dinner, and then, um, they say something, they, they just randomly say something that just, like, really, is like, you just said that plus. Yes. Oh, and it gets me so mad when a guy, I don't care if you're my boyfriend, you're my friend, whatever, it is respectful for guys to open a door for a woman. Yeah, seriously. I know. Seriously, at college, you have books in your hands, and you're like, can you get that? And, like, also the door slammed in your face, you're like, seriously. Now, see, that's me. I actually open doors. And I'm nice, so I'm not like those church at school who don't, who just, like, just close the door again. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, um... Yeah, he is. Mike's usually pretty nice. Usually. I'm, usually. I'm always nice. What are you talking about? Bull crap. Mike's usually pretty. Mike's usually pretty nice to girls, especially you. It's because I'm your girlfriend. And then, dump it over you. Oh, she, I thought you were gonna go kiss me. Just no, like, yeah, no, she's, she's. Yeah. She's my girlfriend. Yeah, except we're talking about the guys who are absolute just like idiots and don't know what to do with themselves. Not yeah. me. Not me. Not me. I think you're different. I'm just sorry. kidding. Is that it? Um. Hungry. Yeah, yeah, apparently Thumper's hungry, and kind of so am I. There's anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's it for the As the World Burns segment, talking about guys and how you can't live with them and can't you can't live. shoot them. All right, so that concludes the As the World Burns segment. Um, do we want to play a song before we get out of here, or do you just want no. to go and, go and get out of here? Uh, get out of here. I want pizza. Yeah, and pizza, Thumper pizza. wants pizza, and so does Hollywood. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the outro rolling, and then uh, we will be out of here. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, let's uh, get this thing. What? I really want to text this to Jeff, but I can't. Because I'm not texting him. Yeah. Well, te- 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 you're sending him a ring. I'm not texting him. You're, so? s- you're sending him It's something. still a text. She will win. I you remain strong. You- oh, FYI, people that are listening, I have a bet that I won't text or call somebody, and they won't text or call me. So this is a very stubborn bet. Because they're both really stubborn. Exactly, people. they so are. So I'm going to win. Hell yeah! I mean, he did come see me today. I didn't come see him. So you're saying you're well, going to win? He was already 30 minutes late for work, so. <laughs> I'm going to win. Hell yeah! Anyway, yeah, Thump- Thumper will win her bet. Uh, she probably so. will, except for your, are you, is your battery dying? On your no. phone? No. I really don't understand oh, her, what I went your, on. Yeah, my battery's dying. It's dying. No, it's dying. All right, well. Um, I don't want to go charge your phone. Let me go ahead and get the uh, outro rolling so we can get out of here. Well, in case you all were wondering, that was the world's craziest Mike and the crew in the morning since n- all three of us and that was actually, shut up the th- entire time. That was actually our first crew member calling, and actually it was actually kind of cool because we never done that before. Two crew member calling. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you were here, but you know, you're just doing it to be cool. I called in. You called in, and you're doing it to be cool. Can I drop my phone? In, in, the, the in the toilet. No! All right. Wee! But you got it out in just in time. That's why the battery's dying. <laughs> hey, it got dropped in the toilet. <laughs> Powering down. <laughs> Okay, anyway, now that we've talked about dropping phones and toilets. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait. I have one more sound drop before we go ahead and geek, before we get out of here. And it goes perfect with her dropping her phone in the toilet. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, where is it? Right here. Okay, one more sound drop and then we are out of here. You ever feel like emptying your bowels? No! We'll take a listen to this. Why do we
Yeah, you're done. And we're telling you. Turn it up and And that is our show, Mike and the Crew in the Morning. Uh, we thank you for listening. And um, don't forget, coming up on the next show is our uh, awesome bla- is our blazing challenge bit over at the Wing House. And if you want to, and if you want to stop, stop by, catch us doing the show live on location. It's going to be at the Wing House down on Lake Lake Buena Vista, right across from Hotel Plaza Boulevard, which is one of the entrances from Disney over on that side of town. So, from all of us here at Mike and the Crew in the morning, I'm Mike. I'm Silver. And I'm Hollywood. And we are Mike and, and the Crew in, in the, the morning. morning. We are over and we are out. Yes. See you next time, guys. Later. See y'all. Bye.